What's up, Renegade Nation? Before we begin the video, I'd like to give a big shout out to our most recent Patreon supporters. Sean, Zankoshu, Kregan, Kaiju Paladin Gabriel, Raven Fighter 91, Jasic, Bobby Dolphins 1972, Jimmy McFickus, Saracian, Sean McLaughlin, Samuel Ward, Sir Flame, Caitlin Harrington Robinson, Kaiser Sani, Son of Nemesis, Justin Jensen, Stephen Sharp, Ayla Ann, OXL, The Elemental Viper, Brony Time, Corey Costello, Wolf Jaeger, Carl Lee, Lewis H., Milo Man, and Tyler Johnson. And as always, I'd like to give a big shout out to our executive producer, The Anime Hybrid. Thank you all very much for your support. And if you want to support us on Patreon, feel free to click the link down below to find out more. We'll see you there. By the time you all are seeing this, the new Rainbow Six Siege event will be going on. And, uh, yeah, I will try to be participating in it. Um, I'm not 100% sure what all is going on, but, needless to say, I'm excited. Yeah, I'm Nick's, gonna... Nick's phone emoted for me properly. <laughs> wow! I'm going to try a few rounds of it. But See if you like it. If Yeah, because, I mean, just to be honest, there's a good chance I might not be really interested in it. And that's um, fine. That's but, fine. I mean, it's going to be fun to change it up for a little bit and try something. But Absolutely. I'm a fan of Siege just simply because of the way they're structured and the game type is, yeah. you know. Well, like you said, to you, it's probably one of your favorite, like, more procedural-based, yeah. like, first-person shooter action games here yeah. recently. And uh, I've, I've play downloaded and played a couple other realistic ones, but... That no, the, no, there's something it just doesn't the other one. Feel right about. There's one I can really say is the most realistic I I've seen. I think you'd be interested in SWAT four. SWAT four, yeah. Um, it was explained by one of the YouTubers for Siege why it's so different than a lot of the other games, and mm -hmm. you don't really think about it when you're playing it. But it's a game where you can blow open like holes and walls and floors and shit, mm -hmm. and they actually change the sound design and stuff like that based on that. Like, yeah. there's all kinds of systems at work that make it a unique shooter compared to a lot of other shooters. Yeah, I mean, it, um, it works very well. I'm, I'm really enjoying it. Um, I guess my favorite thing about it is the maps themselves are a character. Well, you know, it's kind of like, being able to blow shit. through walls exactly. and shit like that. And, you know, I mean, just so strategical on every way. One, like I've said, it's harder <laughs> to learn the maps than it is to learn all of the freaking roster of characters that yeah. are in the game. Yeah, that's and true. One thing Nick and I actually discussed as to how they could enhance this and make this like a, like a game where the pre-planning is just as important as the action itself would be if you had randomly procedurally generated maps with the destructible environments and also... But like the, the windows change? The windows, yes, the doorways, that's what I've the hatches, on. they all change. And beforehand, people can vote on who is going to make the calls for this game. And, like, the team votes on who calls it. And then there's, like, a big board that has, like, a schematic of the different floors. And then you can call, okay, we're going to go in. Uh, I want two people up top on the like skylight. basically get, like, a... Uh... A blueprint laid out yeah. in front of yes. you with your team looking at it, like with, you would, with, and with like more time guy, to kind of. The guy plan for out. calls is basically the guy yeah. with the marker, and he's like, "All right, so we're gonna block here, like we're yeah, gonna like pick competitive this room. mode, like, yeah, and competitive." And so you mode look at it ahead of time. You get like three minutes, and then you have to like look at it and be like, "All right, this is what the layout looks like. So let's go for here." And like, yes, block see this that up, block that would be off. the perfect really game, cool. dude. Oh, yeah. And then you have the attackers with the same blueprint looking at it ahead of time too. Yeah, we think they might be here. You know, yeah, this looks like a good. They just have the house layout, but they don't know what ways are going to be boarded up and Pretty stuff much. so like so. both teams have like a planning session and then you can get into the match like uh you and, would normally yeah and that's what would effectively for the most part eliminate map strats uh like like map based strats because yeah. what's the one thing everyone always does on uh on uh friggin house spawn peeking yes yeah, spawn yeah. peeking on that because in all honesty if it randomly generates and there's no place for you to really spawn peek on that side, that gives the advantage to the attackers more versus the defense, which we'll have to plan around that because, okay, we're not going to be able to spawn peek them this time. So yeah. there you go. And plus, if you have like on attack and you're getting to look at the blueprints ahead of time, you can kind of look at your optional places to go in and be like, well, this place has least windows, so we're going to come from this side. Yeah. Like, cause you know, you'll, we'll still have to look out for spawn peaking and stuff. Yes. On, like a random. I didn't realize there's like a that, huge but... amount of maps that aren't in rotation right now that I haven't played. Oh yeah. Like yacht. I've never even played that before. And I was oh like, dude. What? Yeah. This is cool. I was yeah. like, damn. But yeah. Just an idea. Like we kind of came up with. It might be neat to 
see like a game mode like that and something like siege eventually but yeah and it's like there's probably people who can give us reasons why that would be a bad idea probably and i'd love to hear them i'd love yeah. to have a discussion back and yeah. forth on this and see what would work and what wouldn't work i mean to you all what would not work with the randomly procedurally generated maps hell i'd think just having a big blueprint of the floors on there and just being able to you know, maybe not change the layout the way they're boarded up, but get a game plan. One you complaint know. I could see from people is uh, there's some people that I would think that would probably be like, I, I just want to, I would want to get into the gameplay faster than that, you know. But well, it's yeah. like for that, I mean, like just play no. like regular modes. On well, yeah, the, for that you can just do quick map, play. You, know, you can just do quick play, and yeah. it'll and it'll give you the bog standard the bog standard map. Yeah. But if you want to do like more realism mode, then I would do that. I would have the procedurally generated. And I would also, and I would also, you know, have the have the blueprints out to where you can draw on them, and then be like, okay, so we're so here is out, here is out, because because that leaves us way too open once we enter the house. So and, I want two also, people in the skylights. It would probably depend on their systems for how they have the game made right now. As to if yeah, that would even work too. Well, because if there yeah. are actually like things that they have to go and put in each location in a map, like. You know, next to a soft wall, for example, like if they have to have like all this stuff set up, like so if this has a whole change sounds, blah, blah, you know. Yeah. But if it's like they have an engine that automatically like deduces things like that, I was like, oh, there's a hole here now. So the engine is thinking for them, like, you know, and yeah. it's like, so that means the sounds would change coming this way. A lot of stuff. That would be more uh, possible to have a procedurally generated thing with as opposed to like if it, they actually have to carefully construct the yeah. way each map works. Yeah, so that's fair. In, works, in game so. engines like uh, Unreal, you're a lot. Like, when you make the item, and you, let's say you make a skeletal mesh, and then you add collision, you can also add effects, sounds, triggers, and everything, and keep it all in that one. Yeah. So basically, and keep that as one asset. So what, all you have to do is drag that onto a wall, and it would carry its assets with it. So you wouldn't have to program it every time. There it is. I'm trying to see what engine this is built in. Oh, the Anvil Next. Okay, so it's built in the same Anvil, uh, the base Anvil engine that they built the original Assassin's Creed on. So I didn't know that. Well, yeah, and it's it's just I've never adapted. heard of it. To well, be honest. well, yeah, the Anvil engine is what Ubisoft, what Ubisoft Montreal developed for Assassin's Creed, and then when Assassin's Creed Three came out, that's when they switched to the Anvil Next. The original Anvil Next was a little bit buggy, but eventually they got a lot of the details hammered out with Assassin's Creed Four. But then, <clears throat> when the destructible environments came in with the Anvil Next Two. That's when the game changed entirely because destructible environments in you know in shoot first person shooters like that completely changes up how you play the game, yeah. and that's one thing I love about that's one thing I love about Rainbow Six Siege is that it, and that's one thing Total Biscuit loved about it as well <clears throat> is that the amount of ways things can change just from destructible environments just makes the game that much more engaging, but. We got this uh, video by Russian Badger here. This is Lardex Mozzie Certified Hood Classic. Um, this is the other thing I love about Siege. Because like, this is the first thing I loved about Siege is Badger's videos. <laughs> yeah, Badge, Badger always is a, a hoot to watch with these. And yeah, that's that, really, I didn't even play it until we started watching Badger's videos. And then he got me into it. Yeah. I, it, I, I was reluctant to try it at first. I was like, I probably won't like it. And then when I first tried it, I'm like, this is all right. And then, so, I don't know, now yeah. I've just got the bug. So thank you again, Badger. Thank you for getting <laughs> us involved in this crazy ass, like, amazing game. And we hope to see you out in the field someday. Hopefully, maybe if you'll notice us. Please notice us, Senpai. Okay. More like a kick hey, Mike, our can ass I just get it? On the other team. Sorry. Didn't mean yeah, he that. Kick he well, kick our ass. Oh, him, oh, him and Heavenly and all of them would wipe the floor with us, like, because they are pretty damn good. They're shit lords. They admit this wholeheartedly. They go for the memes rather than than uh, like if they want to go serious, they'll go serious. But most of the time, they're going for clips. That's how they play. Hey mate, can I just get a cheeseburger and <laughs> a large, <laughs> a large <laughs> coke, no sugar? Yeah, thanks, thanks, bro. bro. <laughs> I like it because when you're driving and you're starving, hungry, you just get a cheesy, and it's all yeah. <laughs> cheesy. You know what's so bad? As soon as you start talking about food, I instantly hear. I could be having me mom's meat pie right now. <laughs> oh god! Oh, for God's sake! Everyone's pogged out. Shout out to you guys for all the love on the last video. After hearing your feedback, I've really started to rethink my home defense strategy. Thanks, Jesse. If someone breaks into my house, I don't want to make all of us deaf. I'm not going to fire like a 50 AE. <laughs>
Why not? <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> <laughs> this is the story of how we 8% speed ran the Larnex Battle God Pass, sakes, like literally man. the worst Alpha Pack opening in history, and even had Mozzie drop by to admit he can canonically Crip Walk in the Rainbow Six Cinematic Universe. I might have to get up and Crip Walk. This is a Badger Raid. It's a Badger Raid. Oh my god, it's a Badger Raid. This is the craziest thing I've ever seen. And here to make sure that I can buy the Battle Pass without selling an <laughs> organ awesome. or taking out a second. They actually nice. got Mozzie's voice actor to be in the video. Oh, that's cool. Well, that's, uh, you know, that's actually something else, too. Uh, Finn Wolfhard from, uh, from Stranger Things, yep. Mike, uh, has actually been playing, uh, Modern Warfare with, uh, uh, with Wildcat, basically I do work and all of them. Oh, shit. So, yeah, it's been pretty cool. Second Mortgage is the sponsor of today's video, Honey. The free browser extension hey, that automatically finds the greatest that. coupon hey, codes honey. on the internet <gasps> to save you money. Just imagine, you're shopping for something <clears throat> vital, Keyboard, sunglasses, jars of mayonnaise, whatever. Once you find yourself at checkout, you click one button, sending Honey darting through the internet like a bloodhound and searching promo codes and coupons, automatically adding them to I your cart to save you as much money as possible. In the past, yes. I've saved 18 bucks on Dominoes, $27 <laughs> on shorts, $9 off a Christmas sweater, and we even out pizza the hut last time by getting half off a $50 online order. I'm about to out pizza the hut. And I'm not the only one pizza saving dogs, yeah. because using my link alone, you guys have saved over half half a million dollars by using Honey at over 30,000 supported stores online. Start saving yourself by installing Honey for free with just two clicks at joinhoney.com slash the Russian Badger. I repeat, joinhoney.com slash the Russian Badger to do me a solid and support the channel. Thanks again to those of you out there that have already installed and thanks to Honey for sponsoring this video. Now that we got ourselves some honey money to spend, the battle pass. That's a good idea for a commercial. It's officially called Tour de Force, <laughs> but I'm thinking Tour de Lardex is better because it's the only skin I desperately wanted from it. Oh, that is yeah. a neat skin, Heavenly. You've done the whole battle pass? You even have a cloaker right, right, baton. Me... That's amazing. Okay, fine. The bionicle looking halo helmet on Jaeger was cash too, but you get my point. That battle pass Dude. Jaeger is clean, though. Yeah. Look at that. Look You're at just this. made out of stone. It's so good. So I decided it was any percent battle pass speed run time because Ubisoft is dumb and doesn't run the battle pass for the whole season for some reason. Okay, the objective I got is basically an any percent speed run of the battle pass because I fucked up and I only have four days to do it. This started with me buying the premium track with my honey money and focusing entirely on the challenges that reward you with the most battle pass points. Time to learn a valuable lesson about being in the upper class. <laughs> wow, I feel like I'm getting a head start. This makes me feel right at home. Shout out to all my middle class gang grinding it up until the plus 12 finished it. Yeah, for because you. your time is worth nothing, heaven. Let's go! Stay down there where you belong. <laughs> <laughs> Try on the What's the temperature at the bottom of the food chain? <laughs> Get the grind music? Oh, you know what I want to play so badly, but I'll get DMCA'd in the outer space? Yes. I want to play Grind Time by Camille. Oh my right god. Now. It's Dude. Grind Time. I need mine. Dealing 3,000 damage to enemies, getting 5 DMCA, kills through a breakable bitch. surface, 50 kills with secondary weapons, 70 suppressor kills, and let me tell you, it sounds easy like, duh, just kill people with suppressed secondaries via wall bangs and hit all four challenges at once. Shit, my plan's foiled. Apparently not. Fuck you, Ella. But in practice, was not nearly that easy. It now, wasn't. Involved in this any it percent was not speed easy. run is me doing all of the personal challenges, which are actually kind of hefty. Is one of the objectives reach a certain tax bracket? 850 points for 70 suppressor kills. Fucking garbage. 70 suppressor kills sucks. 850 suppressors isn't enough suck to do on a most, tier. Like on most a thousand for everyone. There. And my first game running this gauntlet was fucked up. Like, what the hell? I stopped playing Siege for two months, and now you're all whipping and dabbing when you shoot me? What did you guys do? Oh, I hit him hard, but he got me. Why is He's everybody, dabbing. like, whipping it? It's a new bug. Basically, when you shoot now, you literally throw your whole shoulder and nay nay on people. Zero damage, old W-E-Dab. <laughs> no, 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 that's a nay nay, that's a nay nay. No, no, no. <laughs> Such energy in chat. Oh, boy, it's the me. fucking whip! It's not the nay nay! It's wrong! Poggers in my Valentino white bag! <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Why do you have to mix memes like that? They were never meant to be together. I made the executive decision that after three rounds, I'm ready to buy the battle pass. So I figured if this shit was going to be dumb, I may as well double down on the dumb by also undertaking the weekly Uplay challenges to gain as much yep. rebound as quickly as possible to oh get myself my 180k and add a 50 alpha pack opening to spice things up even more. Seven kills with gadgets or melee, eight wins with Russian, seven kills with shotguns, yep. score MVP with 3,000 points. Fuck that one. I don't play terrorist yeah, hunt, and four uh, wins with a 
medallions. We're all on the to-do list. Yeah, I didn't do the I didn't do the jackal one either on on terrorist no, on I didn't, training ground. The terrorist hunt literally takes like five minutes. No, I know, I, but I didn't. But I only do it with you. Yeah. I I never. I don't. I don't do it by myself. I don't know. I I just don't. I, I do them solo now with Zofia because uh, you get basically a second life usually because they usually down you rather than kill you. Yeah. So, like, if you're running solo, you can pick yourself back up once if you fuck up. Well, you had to play through as Jackal and... Damn it, I forget who else. But you had to play as one of, like, the Spanish operators. Yeah. But I I but never did that one. Practicing but, reps. Yeah, I can do them, like, with just other ops, too. But, but you, you do have to take them kind of slow, but it doesn't take that long to do one. But, thankfully, I did get the... Uh, I did get... Uh, all the battle pass because uh, I got I I did get pretty much every skin and everything, and uh, yeah, I I was able to do I was able to get all forty five levels of it. I did uh, with buy two it days left. Around. I looked at it and I was like, nah. Well, now for me, where I play Rook a lot, where I play Rook a lot, I had to I had to have that skin because that skin is just awesome. I never play ropes. I'm so. getting ready to buy Doki B probably later tonight. Yeah, do- oh, and I also have a shit ton of Renown left over too. I've got about 40,000 in Renown left I'm over. I'm just saving up 22,000 right now because I want uh, Kali's side cut because it's pretty hot. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm waiting for the Halloween events because I want to buy me a lot of those all a lot of those Halloween skins with Renown. I know I'm not going to be able to get all of them because that'll cost me, as Badger put it last year, Three hundred thousand Dilla dollars worth of renown. Good. So oh, three hundred thousand renown you have to have to get all the Halloween I don't think I've ever had close skin. to that much in this Hell game. No. I've had near one hundred k at one point, but then I I I spent it on a stupid weapon skin. I shouldn't <laughs> have. Uh, well, it's a universal weapon skin, so I can't complain. No. Oh. But anyway, so yeah, that's that's a whole thing. Capcan was the perfect place to start. Not because he's an alligator with a learning disability, but because he's <laughs> Russian, he's got a shotgun, two gadgets that kill people, and his suppressed Makarov is a weapon of mass destruction. Oh. Okay, I'm real nice and slow, <laughs> but check this out. Got her! Headshot! <laughs> Gross, I got it. I got it, Gross. I got it! I got it, baby! <laughs> oh, man. We're just gonna eat that My shit. My dude. Shit, there's people still... Yeah, I got her. She dead as fuck. What if I did this? Oh, right in the face! <laughs> I got her! <laughs> Yeah, right. just yeah. Spray. I pre-fired with the Makarov. Hell Let's yeah, go. brother. Oh, next up. There's next no up, kick baby. to the Makarov. Her ass. It like, oh, oh, behind us. Oh, she's right there, oh, baby. Jesus oh, Christ. man. The door to the right. Oh, I punked him. I punked oh, him with the Makarov. God, that was disgusting. Jesus, sure she dropped, so. Yep. Yes, I got her. Oh, <laughs> it feels so nice to get me. In, <laughs> oh. in the yes. 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 I want it. I want it. I fucking... Want Take it, it, and I want it, baby. The double kill in different no. fucking directions. Damn it, man! I'll burn myself Last alive. I'm not, gonna that this round, so. <laughs> He's like, I'm not gonna play I'm anymore. This round. This like round I win, I'm I win at life. Burning in the holy abyss. Oh. And of course he's playing with See, the cat why did I do that? Him? I knew he was gonna leave. He was like, bro, Badger's in there, I'm not bro. going there. That's a strat. That was a certified hood classic and you had no idea. It's a scare That's tactic. A strat. Badger's literally like, I'm gonna fucking put myself on a pyre and kill myself. That's how much I don't care. <laughs> you can't call it a hood classic. That is reserved for very specific things. Damn. It's like the Presidential <laughs> Medal of Freedom, the Nobel Prize <laughs> certified hood, hood classic. classic. <laughs> Amaru was a natural pick because she's got a shotgun that checks two boxes, a suppressed SMG-11 that checks two boxes, and now that her gadget isn't a piece of shit, why not speed run with a low-budget Spider-Man? I'm going, I'm going, it's okay, I'm just kinda slow, oh my god, in the toilet, my man. Yo, he do be hanging out, though. I just heard that. Got him, got him, I'm an Ida god. Oh my god. Why would they die in ways that look like they're just chilling, like, hanging out, stuff like this? You put your flash on F, or do you put your flash on D? Always F, forget the... Fuck out. I'm getting somebody here. Right. I'm punking somebody. Yup. Punk. punk. Get another one. Wait for it. <laughs> Eat. Punk. Oh! oh no. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Get another one. Wait for it. I have made a terrible mistake. Punked. <laughs> Punked with the force of a thousand suns. What the fuck? <laughs> what <laughs> gun is this? Hey, That's the, uh, I, the uh, Italian 12 gauge. Whatever cap can shotgun. Punked with the... That, so... No, 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 this is Amaru. He's no, playing no, as Amaru. Amaru. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Punk. The, uh, yeah, it's the, uh, the Italian 12 gauge. One, wait for it. 
Whoa! Punked Let's say, I need this gun. Sons. What the oh, fuck? I am so oh, in here. How's the range on it, though? Pretty good. It's a decent mid range, but okay. close range, it's guaranteed to saw them in half. Well, I, as I most need that because there's a lot of my gunfights are kind of close range. Sometimes. Yeah. Well, shotguns are good for that. Yeah. You don't even got an ADS. You just usually hip fire and you just and you just knock them into tomorrow. The thing about playing Capkin and L that I know that his secondary is that good because oh, his Makarov's pe- like I love using nasty. shotguns, but I always have trouble whenever I end up like distance. You know? Yeah. So, like, I'm trying to learn smoke, but I rarely ever kill anyone with smoke because I always equip the shotgun because you, one of your jobs with smoke is to open up parts of the point with yeah. the shotgun. And then I end up having to try to shoot people at a distance with that SMG that I'm still not anywhere close to good with. So, <laughs> I fuck it up a lot. I like an yeah. alibi shotgun. It's more like a DMR. It shoots slugs. So Yeah, it... Yeah. Uh, Jake uh, Jake uses cap can a lot on defense. I Dude, mean, cause... yeah. You, you can... <clears throat> you can fuck some shit up with him yeah i mean again it's just we gotta we, we just gotta work on our strats a bit more i mean yeah. we were calling pretty good last night yeah well I, I, we only lost a like two or three matches the entire night I yeah we were pretty much steamrolling yeah like, we did what 10 or 15 matches we well looking. yeah i know i know in like seven or eight of them we 3 0 a bunch of kids yeah three like 3 0 3 0 3 0 like yeah and the more we keep playing the better we're getting I yeah mean, and plus, you and, like, that Montaigne strat you and I run can get nasty sometimes. Oh, dude, me, me you, and Justin, we, we just... <laughs> him is We'll ace. fucking just... Dude, man, I don't know what it is. I just... It's real simple. Go through the fucking door, you check it for traps, you push all the way to the bomb, don't stop, as, but you clear every section of it. Always check the behind. And as yep. soon as you get in there, push them into a fucking corner. You guys shoot them, plant the fuck... He smokes, plants the bomb... Fucking, he plants the bomb behind me. He just stands, sits behind me while I'm there with a big ass shield. Yeah, he's watching from another angle. That's like, yeah, I'm outside. Plant- I'm like outside the window or outside the door on the corner, just waiting for him to pop in. And then they come on the Sounds outside. Sounds pretty like, much Hoo! like the Meta Strat, like, as far as I know. Yeah, we're yeah. like planting within like 45 seconds. Yeah, I mean, and it's cool. And of course, I sometimes run shield bash on defense where I play Oryx, dude. I I bullied this one blitz into oblivion. Because all of a sudden, he comes in. He pulled this strat last time. I was Rook, so I couldn't really do anything against him. I come in, He comes in as Oryx, sees me, tries to run away. I rush him down, knock him down from behind, Boom. and I shoot him in the back. And he goes, damn, bro, Oryx a bully. And I'm like, you have, you don't know the half of it, bitch. We still not even halfway through Yeah, I know, I know. Either. Sorry. What's up, you, Warden? Man. Oh, you're next. I'll deal with you in a second, ma'am. Oh, oh yeah, God. in a second. Just, give me a moment. Why is Badger God. playing on an easier God. difficulty than the rest of you? The way this team is playing makes me oh, think got it's black just eyes. a bunch of Ikea shelves, like, behind the keyboard. <laughs> <laughs> How about we throw some ash in there too? She's blazing fast. Her suppressed FN 57 secondary is basically an LMG of AR rounds, and according to like how it's the actual CFO, Lara Croft really Tomb Raider that he's showing right now. Pulling your chat back. Jesus Christ! Oh my God! Three. Oh, what's that? Diversity. It has arrived. <laughs> yep. I can't call Ash diversity. <laughs> I even hit up Alibi's buffed AA-12 to kill two birds with that's one stone. That's what I use. Yeah. I tell you. Hey, hey, that's you. Right yeah, there, right. New that's on you. This thing, it only takes one. You'll be fucked up if you were the Dovahkiin and you're like trying to talk to a girl and you actually say the wrong thing and you like send her off like a five-story building. That was really funny. <laughs> 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 it shall be done. Damn it, there's no, nobody over here. Wait, I think I saw somebody. name on the other team is... Oh, oh my god! You see, you see? It's a shot with a DMR. It's a shotgun, but it has fucking range. I'm not kidding on a 1440p one. Sees a pixel! probably three pixels top. Send the shot just to see if that was somebody's head. God! Bye-bye! Oh, Badger, you nasty mother... Pain. Pain. Thank you. Oh, I hit him right in the mouth. Maverick's right out there to your left. I hit him twice. <laughs> like yeah, you oh. damn right. You damn right. <laughs> yeah, and you can rapid fire Oh, yeah. yeah. But now from finishing challenges, <laughs> I'm going to over the top with 180k, which meant one objective down and a 50 alpha pack opening on stream. Let's do this. Finally get 50 alpha packs, and I have not opened them in forever. It's probably been a full year since I have had oh, this much shit. renown. And here we go. Trash. Trash. Already Ooh. have it. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, here we go, here we go. Shit, tentacles. I don't even play yeah. the bomb. Ass, already have it. Already have it. Already have it. Already have it. Damn, Frost's eyes got dreamy again. What the hell? Let's fucking go. <laughs>
Already have it. Already have it. Already People, have it. This is literally just mood killing. <laughs> like, uh, uh, oh, oh, oh. Oil spill. I found a Already hidden passage on fucking uh, the have, plane map. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No legendary. You have to blow down two ass. walls to get to it. That Shit. might have been the worst outpack opening I've ever seen. And it takes seen. you right behind the point, and it's legit, legit too. <laughs> it's not like a glitch or anything. It's intentional. No cap. This is facts. I got fucking scammed. Of the 51 packs, I got 22 duplicates, so almost half I already had. Zero legendaries, only five epics, 17 rares, 10 of which were duplicates, and I even got a double fucking rare duplicate. As in, I already had SAS Dark Woodland, and I opened SAS Dark Woodland in these packs two separate fucking times. Jeez. Fuck you, wow. Ubisoft. This was literally the worst alpha pack opening ever, and I only own like two black ice. This is bullshit. You should end the damn story. You know, that was shameful. Okay. That was embarrassing. I own three That's black awesome. ice, and I haven't been playing I'm anywhere near as long yeah, as bad. I've got four. <laughs> so, oh, I have twice as many black eyes as he does. That's oh fucking God. lame. That's fucking bullshit, dude. Oh, Badger, we're sorry, dude. If you see this, we RNG, are sorry. RNG is some shit. Man. RNG is mm -hmm. some bullshit, especially if you're a big streamer like him. I guarantee you, they deliberately knock his shit down because they know he can afford to pay yeah. for more alpha packs. My, uh, Not only do I have multiple black ices, but I have a black ice for both primary and secondary on Lion. So, like, I have yeah, like, you a, have a full, full black ice for Lion. Oh, my so God. Like, so. yeah, dude, it's too you bad want... I never play as Lion, you... but I guess I should play as You want to know time, the bullshit so like one that I got? Here. I got Ash's main, and I don't play Ash. Yeah, one of the other ones I have is for somebody that I didn't play, but you know what the first one I opened was? What's that? When I was still maining him, it was Thermite's gun that I used oh! all the time. So I was, Shit, everybody yeah, was just like, what the fuck? <laughs> it's, like, it's like, kid, where did you get that? Not only did I open one, I opened one that I'm actually going to use all the time. So <laughs> like, That's cool. So far, yeah. I haven't gotten anything for pretty much most of the characters. No black ice is for you. No, no. Oh, sad. Not yet. Not yet, but eventually, hopefully. My fourth one is for somebody I never play, so at least there's that. All right. Yeah. My friend uh, spent fucking $50 on um, uh, loot, bo loot boxes in um, Overwatch during, like, one of the things. Yeah. And uh, he didn't. He still didn't get the one he wanted. <laughs> he spent that much money. I like, See, that's stupid. why I don't do loot boxes with real money. And no, I'm hell like, no. Fuck that noise. Well, it's cosmetics. I mean, it is. You can. I mean, it just depends if you want your money. Yeah. I don't hate on it except for, for the fucking pizza skin. That's the, retarded. The stupid thing is I think the only time I've ever spent money on cosmetics was actually for single player games, but it was because they came with like other stuff, like season pass type. True, stuff. yeah. Well the like I said, the only thing I bought with her now was a universal weapon skin and I'm I'm upset with myself because I could have saved that and used it for the Halloween event. Because I probably could have got half the skins with that and not had to give Ubisoft any more money, but uh, well, actually, I take that back because I think I could consider battle passes to be spending real money on cosmetics because I have bought a couple yeah. premium battle passes for Modern Warfare and one for Siege. So. Yeah, yeah, fair but enough. Anyways. anyways, yeah. Petition for my next trick, I'm gonna pay you bitches no mind. <laughs> oh, <laughs> let's focus on how incredible Smonk's SMG 11 was at getting suppressed secondary kills and blasting wall bang after wall bang with his Mossberg 590. No, I'm gonna gas her. Y'all yeet. Oh my god, bamboozle. Yeet is the leadest. Get out of my bathroom. <laughs> Jesus Yeet is the leadest. I was about to say, uh, don't worry, I got a strong this. name. Or, Jesus or Howard we... Christ. I was going to say Jesus Howard. P. Christ because I would get a real kick out of Jesus Christ's middle name being Jesus <laughs> Peter Christ. I was going to say Poggers, but you know. <laughs> 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 no, fucking kill him. End him. End, End him. Guy, Badger. Kill him. Badger, come here. No, no, no. Shoot him through the wall. You can just go on the other side of this wall and shoot him. All right, all right. Ada. Oh! Blew his fucking legs off. It's How to complete here. battle pass challenges 101. My God, he had a oh, fan. The oh, headshot. I can't believe we got that battle pass challenge on Maverick, courtesy of his kneecaps. Can't even use and when that Mozzie's piece of voice actor Martin showed up, I totally it. forgot about that shitty alpha pack opening. Oh, like hell. he speeds through security checkpoints, oh. yells at seagulls, uh. eats cheeseburgers, and canonically knows how to crip walk. Finally, some Rainbow Six lore that doesn't fucking yeah, suck. That my God! That head gear. Oh, that out. yeah. Idiots. <laughs> <laughs> oh! That should be looking That's who I'm playing on that map every time. Oh, oh, I'm glad. glad. Yes. Uh, I, it's that. unfair. I'm trying to glad like that. Like going through like a border security. Hell, you don't have to pick him. You can stand right there at the window and wave at him. Shot someone and they can't do anything. Yeah. 
You're just like, you're just like, hi there, boom. Ed, I don't want to say that. <laughs> Weren't some farmers involved in that as well? Oh my like, god! I love that! Very inopportune <laughs> time. He's just driving one hand Swan on the wheel, one hand, hand on the cheesy, <laughs> one hand on the Discord Stage. call. <laughs> <laughs> Quick question, complete left turn. The Kavera voice actor. Uh, does she have a fan club that I can make if not already made? She has her own line of coffee, which you can order online. Yeah, you just yeah. open the coffee bag and just punches you in the face. And that's the game. <laughs> this is Seagull that I talked to in the morning. He's, got one, he's only got one leg and I got creative with the brand. Line hold up, hold forcing. up. Did you say sea girl or like a girl that lives by the beach or a seagull? No, no, no. I wish there was a seagull. I thought there was yeah, just no, some I'm girl by the, the beach that room. you're screaming reinforcements at. <laughs> I will scream out my car window, reinforcing seagull. So if I see one, I'll, I'll, I'll give you my word. I will scream it out the window as loud as I can. I've actually learned to uh to crit walk in siege. Uh, <laughs> Everyone, <laughs> shut the fuck up. This is important. You know how you do. <laughs> we made this tier list based on who can crit walk the best. Mozzie is at the top. <laughs> Shit, Mozzie yeah. At the top because he's closest to the ground. Mozzie so he has can more 100 percent crit walk. All right, here we go. Reinforcing seagull. <laughs> <laughs> he did it. <laughs> I could have sworn I heard hey, like a hey. serious tire screech, like you were either drinking or you were gonna yell at somebody. <laughs> I, I think I popped the button. The moral of the story is uh, a stupid ass meme we made at 3 a.m. where you were really good at crip walking turned out being true. Would you look at that? Wow. Eh, don't ask about F tier. So who's the worst crip walker? Castle. Castle. What? Castle. Ca mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Okay. That's bait. That's bait. That is so bait. Not made at all. No, you no. want me to say Castle yep. can crip walk because he's black, and I will not no. say it. Since I'm black, no so one just be did. If I say it. That's so true. Okay. <laughs> Heavenly is black, and Heavenly, like, him, like, Heavenly can get edgy sometimes, bro. And I know that if, if Heavenly says it, it like it won't be looked at, but a guarantee if Badger says it, all of a sudden it's just like Russian Badger accused of, accused of racist actions on, on Rainbow Six Siege. Castle can't crip walk it's because in the lore, Castle is a gigantic fucking nerd. He has no friends but Ash. He stays up all night watching K dramas, and he doesn't go outside. <laughs> he is from Sherman Oaks. That makes perfect sense. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> there. Fair <laughs> enough. This is me spitting facts and spitting Doritos everywhere, but he can't crip walk. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, he's right. No, you actually are doing it. How do you know? I look like OT Genesis right now. <laughs> no, but like, how do you swap hands, Heavenly? Do you? You see that? You see how you just yeah, swap hands so effortlessly? No, you are. That you is are. weird. Look at me, Cass. That is so strange. I'm right, about to end this party right quick. <laughs> Yo! Don't blow it! Do don't it. blow it! Don't do it! Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. I'm body blocking my C4. No, I bet you I back you. look upon you, mine are. <laughs> oh god! <laughs> <laughs> Fucking <laughs> heavenly! <laughs> Why? Because we all forgave you. What the fuck? Have a good night, Take man. Take care, guys. Take it easy. Bye bye. I'll yeah, probably be here you. until I can figure out how to actually get We can just disconnect you. Step. We're that type of bully if you want. <laughs> you Toss him out the back door. I fucking grabbed him by the collar and through his ass. <laughs> <laughs> you can take a final crack at the battle pass by racking up suppressor kills with Doc's P9. Yes! If Heavenly's gonna insta-lock Lardex every round. I saw so Badger post that on Twitter. Somebody posted that as a gift. Couldn't just like right? fucking smack yeah. himself over and over. Once. On the Discord? <laughs> yeah. God dang it, of course. Yeah, because I remember Badger sharing that on Twitter and I was just like, that is such a Doc move. Just like, just like, kill everything. Inject. Kill. Inject. Here, in your police baton battle pass. Come back, you up. Yes, sit down. Oh, yes. Don't try it. Yo, let me give you a snack. Come back, come back. Let me snack your ass up. No, no, stop moving. Right in your mouth. Yeah. <laughs> Difficulty three. <laughs> I'm glad that Mickey was the one who I'm sure you have it. Oh, pre fire. Face off, but the I way that you much. said that was the most butch voice line I've ever heard. Yeah, difficulty tweak. <laughs> Cloaking. <laughs> 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 We're gonna punch a hole in this wall and give you another one. Stop moving, stop moving. Hold up, stop moving. Yeah, Summer Soul Kid. <laughs> I see your dodge! Oh! <laughs> in my fucking eye! Yeah. It's literally just in my fucking eye! Oh my <laughs> god! I love go that! Oh, he jumped down! He got me. Where'd he go? Did he go out? Yeah, he jumped down in the window. Uh, 
Yo! Whoa! No, 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 How did you right. not break your legs? Oh, it's gonna be close. Please get this game. Fuck you, game. Give me this no, shit. No, it's not Please. gonna do it. Yes. Oh! oh my god. <laughs> Oh my god, the road dog combo. <laughs> yeah, those are those heart pounding moments. <laughs> like, oh. You had one of those the other night. So did I. I was a orcs, although it didn't go yeah, my way. Then perish in mid air. Then perish. <laughs> Oh, thanks for that stuff. <laughs> yeah, last that night everybody was trying to tell me where they're from. Yeah, just said fuck you. Bought the whole ass battle. Like, Shut the hell up! Every single fucking tier. I ain't got time for this shit anymore. <laughs> it's oh, probably oh. the only moment you've ever had me like yell at people. Yeah. Like, cause, shut the fuck cause up. Me, I was sitting there. I was sitting there, and then all of a sudden, Wolf was yelling it at you. Dodo was yelling it at you. Arando was yelling it at you. And me, I was just like, I was just like, guys, guys, can we? Guys, it's behind him. And then all of a sudden, Jake, Jake's just like, SHUT THE FUCK UP! <laughs> and I'm like, um, and I was just like, I was just like, I, have, I haven't sat there and got said a word. Quiet, like, real quick, and, and I, then, I finally defused it. I was like, and then, thank God, I'm gonna kill all you fuckers. <laughs> and I got that on, ca on film, too. I got that, I recorded that one. That was one of the funniest moments ever. <laughs> like, all of a sudden, he's like, SHUT THE FUCK UP! I probably woke my kid, the kid up doing that <laughs> shit. <laughs> She's sleeping in the next room. She's like, shut the fuck. <laughs> it, was, it was comical looking back. I am sitting there like, I was just like, I am so sorry. I did not mean to like fucking snap off, but oh God. I was hearing it's to your left on this side. I was hearing it's behind you here. It was, oh, it was where he was just uh, and to your right, but all at once. It was yeah. Like, Our fucking rando was just like God, killing it in the chat. He was just like behind you, behind you, behind you, behind you, behind you, behind you. And it was just, and me, I'm just sitting here. I'm just like, guys, guys, and I couldn't get a word in edgewise. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, God. Okay. <laughs> More Mozzie already left, and at least I'm gonna get some good alpha packs out of the deal, right, Ubisoft? Right? Right? Yeah, there you go. 80%. Okay, okay, yeah. okay. Done, done. Crack open those outpacks. I want to see what yellows you got. Already yeah. have it. Crane yeah, yeah. railing. It goes with his uh, Bob the Builder head. headgear, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Is that it? That it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> really? uh, Fluke just said I agree with it. Whatever <laughs> Fluke just said. I couldn't tell what word that was, <laughs> but I agree <laughs> with that noise. Whatever that noise was. That was, that was that disappointment was. noise. <laughs> but damn. I have never seen a worse day of alpha packs in the history of Rainbow Six. That was, that was so bad. bad. And we rounded things out by rating Martin's Twitch channel, which I will leave down below if you guys are at all interested. Oh my god, it's a badge of raid. And I'd like to thank our Heavenly Father. I'll never forget Heavenly. All I can say is fucking hell. Owen! <laughs> You're a real person, Owen! Heavenly Father, this one's for you. Reloading! Okay, I'll do one more crit walk. No, I want to seriously, I want to thank uh, Russian Badger and all his boys. We had Mickey in there, Heavenly Father, the Grouse. All glorious bunch of individuals. They made me feel very, very, very welcome. And I had such a great time. The end. That's all you get. And that was Mozzie? That's it. That was Mozzie? That's Mozzie. In real life, Martin Coping, yeah. Okay. Yeah, he, he, from what a lot of people say, he is really, really cool. <laughs> Uh, a lot of actors have gotten into Twitch streaming now where they're not able to act anymore. They're not able to travel anywhere. They're not able to do anything. Especially, like, foreign actors. Uh, there's several people I've, uh, like, from the UK who were, like, really into, like, re like, really into, like, they were acting in stuff here in the United States. And, uh, all of a sudden, nothing. They weren't getting any offers to do anything because, mm -hmm. because COVID. And mm -hmm. now... <clears throat> Now they're just like, can we go on the internet and do stuff? Dude, I think a lot of people are just going to like turn to the internet as their primary source of entertainment from now no, on. Yeah. Primary because, source of entrepreneurialism and just well, well, business. Because, right now. because here's the thing about uh, about sports coming back. Sports came back. Yeah. Uh, sports came back in a big way because uh, you had golf, you had uh, basketball, and you had baseball all within the same time frame with like in a week of each other. Yeah. Golf was the only one that had success, whereas baseball and basketball plummeted in ratings. Yeah. No one was wanting to watch it anymore. It goes to show you, it's just like, wow. So these like, <clears throat> so these uh, ones here, I guess we don't have to pay attention to anymore. It, also, Badger changed his uh, profile pic on here. I wonder how long ago he did that. It's no longer like the, like the black crying and white seal. Dude. Yeah, the crying seal. That's one of his old, uh, one of his old memes. Oh. Uh -huh. Yeah, uh, it's actually one of his shirts too, <laughs> uh, like the crying, like crying seal god tier <laughs> meme is what he calls it, I think. But 
and it seems as though most people are tuning in online for their entertainment nowadays and really aren't tuning into sports as much anymore, mm-hmm. like, like traditional sports. And it's it's amazing to me because, you know, you have all these professional athletes making millions upon millions upon millions of dollars, but yet the revenue's not showing up, man. So does that mean LeBron James is going to have to take a pay cut? Does that mean all these other pro basketball players are just going to start going overseas to these big uh, to these big leagues that are just going to pay them over there instead? I mean, well, I, mean, I think they kind of make too much anyway. Just my personal opinion. Well, honestly, man, it's like a they're... UFC champion only makes what two hundred fifty thousand. Well, for that, a fucking championship fight, it depends. Uh, plus it... sponsors, of course. Yeah, well, yeah, but like when well, you get four, forty-four and... million dollars to play a for however long. Well, the contract, okay, I when mean, you Jesus get Christ. when you get paid forty million dollars to put. Well, <clears throat> don't get me wrong; these guys are professional athletes and could kick the shit out of me. Oh, yeah. Any I'm not taking week, anything away from but, them. I'm just saying they, that's a but fuck ton of money. That is a shit ton of money to put a ball in a hole. Yeah. And to put a ball in a hoop. And whereas you have UFC fighters who literally know... They train just as hard. They, I mean, well, dude, they don't only train just as hard, but they are in a sport that is grueling, injury prone. And at any... Like, there's a reason why undefeated fighters in the UFC are few and far between. Yeah. But unlike in boxing, because in boxing it's just this. It's this and this. Head movement, body movement, fit, you know, you move a, around a little bit. But with UFC, it's just if, if, all, if this is all you know how to do, to you're going to get fucked. have knowledge across like a shit ton of martial arts, like even the ones that you don't personally practice. Well, yeah, you, you well, so, so. in mixed martial arts, you can't just be good at boxing. you got to be Hell into no. kickboxing, jiu-jitsu. you got to be into judo. you got to be into karate. you got to be into... you got to be into even traditional wrestling. You have to know what to do to avoid this kind of stuff. And honestly, that's the thing with that's the thing with uh, basketball. I think people are just finding it boring <laughs> nowadays. But yeah, now and, that we've got the <clears throat> internet to kind of just give us the sports without having to show the audience, you know, it's kind of, you know, well, dude, these UFC events here recently where there's been no crowd, mm-hmm. I've actually liked a lot because you can hear yeah. how hard these dudes are hitting each other. Justin Gaethje, yeah, the, the fucking the, the it's definitely uh, the Ferguson. least awkward seeming sports to be played, like. With no crowd, like, yeah. yeah. From what I've seen well, so far, well, because when like Justin... all of the other ones just seem fucking weird and surreal. But like the UFC match, just is it looks like you know two dudes got together to have a fight <clears> and some people recorded it. Like that's fine. That awkward. Wrestling oh, yeah. is awkward as fuck with no crowd. Yeah, like it's just because I mean the whole deal with that is the crowd interaction <laughs> is part of the character of wrestling. Yeah. So like, yeah, it's I, so I noticed awkward. that when I was uh, seeing some of my uh, full cell stuff where they filmed WWE. <laughs> Well, stuff. I'm like, oh, this looks boring. <laughs> well, these dudes in an empty crowd, in no crowd around, just tore each other to pieces, and you heard every shot. These dudes were landing and trading, and yeah. I loved every second of it. And I, yeah, when I, I'm at home watching a fight, I could give a fuck less about the crowd anyway. Well, no, know, the cr- hearing like... the roar of the crowd is one thing. Yeah, I'd like to hear the roar of a crowd. You know, if I were the fighter there, but at the same time, but as to a, cancel the entire fight just because. <clears throat> the crowd, yeah. Yeah, that's not... No, it's not necessary. But, and they so, make way more money from pay-per-view than they do fucking the actual live. Yeah, the gate. Anyway. You know, no live gate for that. I mean, I know it's still like, what, so, 250,000 fucking seats, but yeah. it's uh, still nowhere near so, compared to millions of people. I'm dropping a like on this video, and I'm also going to leave a comment <laughs> down below for those of you all who are interested in uh, seeking out the uh, seeking out the original video, you can actually check it out in the description down below. Try and find our comment. Uh, it'll be a uh, fairly uh, fairly uh, spicy comment. I mean, hopefully it won't hopefully it won't offend people, but hopefully uh, hopefully you all will realize by now I don't give a shit. So again, everyone, thank you all very much for tuning in. And uh, this was the Russian Badger Lardex Mozzie Certified Hood Classic. And uh, I guess until then, we'll see you then. I'm Nate. I'm Jacob. I'm Nick. We'll see you. Peace out.